hey guys what's up it's Alexandria here welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I take out my quick weave I have the half up half down hairstyle for almost two weeks and it was just starting to get a little played out and a little crusty so it was time for me to take it out so I start with trying to take out the top ponytail part it was just tracks glued around a bun on top of my head so I'm trying to find the starting point here and then I'm going to use the conditioner method so I take this Aussie moist conditioner and I'm just going to put it all over the tracks the conditioner helps loosen up the glue which makes it easier to take out your quick weave so in this whole video I'm going to be just taking the conditioner finding those open spots and then pulling the tracks out not gonna lie on this top part I was just real confused as to how the um, hair was installed so it was a lot of grabbing pulling and tugging but eventually I found out how to pull it out and then it kind of came out easier So once I got most of the tracks unglued, I easily could just pull the ponytail off from around my hair, which was wrapped into a tight bun, and that's what gives it kind of that high top I Dream a Genie look. So then I just went and started undoing the braid that was the bun. Um, it was pulled into several different small ponytails, so here you're just going to see me undoing the braid and then just doing each little ponytail individually. Okay, so that was really the hard part. The top part was most difficult to get out just because I really didn't know how it was installed. So I'm just gonna clip that hair away and then I'm putting more conditioner on the edges of the tracks to pull out the rest of the glued in um, quick weave. So the quick weave was installed on a stocking cap. So really my main focus was making sure that I conditioned my edges so that I could pull out the quick weave without it pulling out any of my hair so I really focused on pulling out the sides on the edges and then the back part of my edges as well so I literally just go and start pulling off the tracks one by one the conditioner really gives it some good slip and it's not hard to pull the track out once you're able to get that slip with the glue um, I will say that it's super super important that you're careful during this process there are some pieces that you might have to go back in and apply a little bit more conditioner just to have that extra slip to make sure you're not pulling out any of your hair patience is super key with this and I had the hardest time with patience so I was really trying my best not to pull out any of my edges
And then one of the last steps is just cutting away the stocking cap from the hair. Like I said, I didn't have to undo these tracks because all I need to do was remove the stocking cap. So it was stitched on with some weaving thread. So I just went in and cut away the thread and then pulled the cap right off from there. And hoochile, what a relief. Like I was itching my head. Ooh, it felt so amazing to have that out of my head. And then lastly, I'm just going in and undoing my braids. And then your hair is already nice and preconditioned to go ahead and wash everything out. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you later. Bye!